one move. There we go. And now we got another one of these puzzles. Oh, I love this. This is fun. I haven't been chased down by a demon yet. Graveyard, what am I? Ken. Ken Shred, I don't know. Loving wife to Herman Sanderson, 1951 to 1992. So it gives us a good ride, that gives us a good idea timeline. Also, I'm not gonna be doing Ash's voice because she's gonna be the main character for a good chunk of time, and that would absolutely destroy my voice this early in the morning. Herman Sanderson. Loving husband to Ken. Candace Sanderson, 1945 to 1999. Robert Sylvan. Rod in Pieces, 1969 to 1999. Jesus! I don't remember Robert. Morrison. Ray and Jason's shared grave. Even death couldn't keep those two apart. Fair enough. Chug. Son, husband, father, friend, 1977 to 1999. Hey, Jug. Miss you, dude. Yeah, I do as well. Soda. Yeah, since this is after I've edited the fourth episode, I did indeed cut out that bit. Completely. Yeah, there's some things I just... Some things cross a line for me. I can't. I couldn't. Larry, son of Liz and Jim Johnson, 1976 to 1999. They never did find Larry's body. They never did find Larry's body. Yeah, that's a weird part, though. He did die. We know he's dead, but his body was just gone, and that part's not exactly normal. He definitely joined the other side on his own, but... I mean, probably with a little bit of help from the ghost to encourage him because they knew they needed someone on the other side who could help. But, I don't know. It's just weird. It makes me think that whatever happened to his father also happened to him. Maybe his father went to the other side as well to help things proceed properly in trying to stop the cult last time. They did try once before. Lisa Johnson Fisher, mother of Larry Johnson, wife to Henry Fisher, 1956-1999. Lisa always did was so nice to me. She treated me like family. Yeah. Henry Fisher, husband of Lisa and John Josh Fisher, other to Sal Fisher. Can't imagine how much this hurts Sal. Yeah, that's the other thing, like... That should have been a clear indicator that something was very wrong with the situation. Sal loved his father beyond belief, so that should have been a clear indication of something. Son of Henry Fisher and Dana Fisher, 1976 to 2004. So it did take about five years from the point of the event to actually, you know, get to the execution, which is kind of interesting I'm not sure how I hmm you would think they would then want the expert testimony of the psychologist who's actually dead and probably a demon ghost I don't know I feel like five years is a bit extraneous for that wish you were here so This is Musk. Sorry I haven't visited in a few nights. Things have gotten worse. Okay. So just to be clear, this is a flashback happening while she's standing at the grave. Gotcha. It's been five months since to escape from the institution. That's one hell of an opener. You are looking rough, dude. I'm surprised your shirt's not a little cut up or something like that. Jesus. I hope he's okay. Yeah. 
It's gotta be under the that damn darn church. It's the one place you haven't been able to get to. They're down there, I know they are, and they have my Todd. Uh, did you get the rest of the C4 from your army friend? I don't think anyone would help someone get a bunch of C4. How much do you have? I got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so, yeah. We should go Tuesday night. That's when they're least active. Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there, we won't. We're going to get Todd and then blow that place to bits. Neil, I'm serious. So am I, but if we do get caught, then yeah, we take we take them down with us. I'm ready. Yeah, considering they probably are going to kill you if they catch you anyways, screw them. I mean, kill them. Good, uh, at least one of us is. Yeah, I'm not that ready. Have you fed Maple yet? I tried, she's still not eating. Right, if you don't remember, I actually, I, well, kind of purposely played through a bit of this already, thinking this was part of episode 4, but no. Episode 4 ended after Sal's execution and picked up in episode 5 in the graveyard. Um, but yeah, Maple did, she wasn't there, so she didn't get killed, but she was infected. She's still not eating. I'll see if I'll have any luck. Do you need a hand? Nah, I've got it. Uh, did you bring the new package to the shed? Yep, you think you found a connection with Todd's work? I think it's something big, a missing piece I've been wondering about. Hope you're right. We're about due for some good luck. Are you? Are you? I feel like in this situation, like this is a very reality situation where there just isn't any good luck to go around. You either are or you aren't. There's no good luck to go around. Todd. Summary of cultist notes 3 to 5. Todd, he's been infected by the dark. I feel like there's a dirty joke in there somewhere. This has occurred in other people across Knockfell and is usually brought on by the devourers of, the, of God. Other findings suggest that this process may also be able to take place naturally without intervention from occult rituals. The thing is, though, Todd isn't... Todd's not quite infected. I'm not sure what he is, because, remember, they did something to him that night. They... I don't know what they did, but it wasn't quite the same thing, and I'm pretty sure from what he said, the demon was there as well. At first, we were able to speak with Todd, and we were able to get some information from him. Over time, the darkness spread, and Todd lost that lucidity. Now he's escaped from the hospital with help from the cultists. Luckily, they want him alive, so he's safe there until we can figure out how to break him out. In the meantime, we we have con continued Todd's work on finding a cure to reverse infection and cleanse the possessed body. I believe we are close to figuring it out. We just need a bit more time. Mysterious Mailer, a cultist and in cultist insider providing helpful intel, but. Who is it? And why are, why are they betraying the cult to help us? We still don't know the answers to these questions, though we wouldn't have gotten this far without their assistance. They provided us with details about cult operations and locations, albeit in vague, quickly scribbled notes. Fair enough, they're probably under pretty close eye often, especially if you've done stuff to intervene with the cult. They've probably been under one hell of a heavy eye. Phil's Ministry. It's not simply an old church that sits on Capitol Hill. The church is the entry point for the main temple of the Devourers. After the mysterious destruction of the Anderson Temple, the Philip, uh, Phil's Temple was heavily guarded for a while. Eventually, the security loosened. It's our suspicion that this is due to the cold having in Dutch Day and the majority, if not all, of the local government leaders. We have to be careful who we trust. Fair enough. Hey, Gizmo. Hey, Gizmo. You need anything? He hasn't left your room since the execution. It's like he knows. Probably does. I've heard of dogs slaying by their owner's graves and refusing to eat and stuff. Oh, hey, Maple. 
You know, would the police ever had to come here for any reason, you guys would probably be in a lot of trouble. Maple. Hey, Mabel. How are you today? Yeah, it's been a rough day, hasn't it? You and I are gonna get Todd back soon. We may have to stick him in with you, at least we, until we can find out a better solution. I hope you don't mind. Good to know. I've got to run out to the shed real quick, but when I get back in, we'll get you some nice warm soup. Good for you. I'm still waiting for the washer to come to life and eat me. Day one. Mabel has become a threat to herself and others and had to be locked up. Day seven. Most of the time, Mabel remains conscious and alert. She is grateful that we are working to find a way to help her. Day eleven. The corruption seems to be most active at night. Ta... Today, we reinforced the cage and added restraints for everyone's safety. Maple didn't love the idea of restraints, but understood that why they were needed. Day 20, the infection is getting worse. We're only able to speak with Maple about 50% of the time. The rest of the time, she acts like some kind of demon or something. Day 32, Maple has become difficult to interact with at all, and her physical appearance has begun to change. Day 39, she started screaming during the night and didn't stop until her throat bled. Day 42, the screen has continued the past few nights. Luckily, no one lives close enough to hear it, and the basement muffles most of the sound anyways. Day 45, her screen has finally stopped, but she's not looking so great. Day 46, we can't get her to eat anything. Day 51, she's still refusing to eat, but we've been forcing her as much as we can. It, it's very difficult. Day 64, Maple is starting to smell pretty bad. Still not eating. Yeah, that's pretty difficult thing is, we don't... Yeah, you can see the house now in disrepair that it wasn't in before. The thing is, like... <laughs> we don't know what the infection is supposed to do exactly. Is it supposed to cause her to starve herself to death? And then she turns into something else? Uh... Damn it. Oh, that's not right. Oh, right. You just had to make me look like an idiot, so I type boobies, right? <laughs> Boobs. Whatever. Mm, still crazy. So very, very crazy in here. And if you want that symbol to do jack squat, you may want to redraw it. It's starting to get degraded. The blue flame not extinguished, still flickers in the night. He that sees between worlds, child of the abomination, wielding light beyond man. Pierces through the endless black, and betrayer of our kind, resurrected by the assistant. His sword, blood of man, rises to protect the great Eterricate, and prevent the triumph of humankind. Notes. Uh, Cyril, a Native American seer, uh, origin unknown, pre- Evious council member of the Devourers of God, possibly the original formation, Assist Asthen Men is referring to a collection of three pyramids. I have attained one of them and have been searching for the other two. I'm not exactly I'm not sure exactly who the child of the abomination is, but if they're an enemy of the cult, then they could be a much needed ally. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, we have delved deep into crazy. Hey, there's the light thing he used to get rid of the demon. Sure. We got these weird pyramid things in the mail. Another package from a mysterious cold insider. Todd had a third pyramid in the shed. In his notes, he says he found it found it in the temple under the old apartments. They seem to be pretty important. There are so mentions of a prophecy in Todd's notes about them. We, he was actively looking for the other two. Well, I guess you found them. I think they might be able to link you, link to you somehow. It's a bit of a jump. No matter how I turn these, nothing happens. I thought something would happen this time. The thing is, something like that usually requires ritual, sacrifice, blood, something, some kind of connection something to engage it something c to connect it so there's something else i need to tell you 
The replacements are sloppy at first, but they're getting better now. It's harder to tell the difference. I can't trust anyone. Those things creep me out, dude. They aren't human. I know what you mean. So you think that pyramid thing that Todd found could help us find Sal? Seems like it. I pieced together what I pieced together what I could find out about the old cult prophecies. And from what I can tell, there are three pyramids that will summon their destruction. All signs point to Sal as the one who can stop them. I'm not sure how or why, but it's the best chance we have. I always knew Sal if Ace would go to do great things. Uh, don't give up on him. Ash, uh, you have to find him. I won't, ever. I just need to find the other two pyramids. Once I'm free of this fucking treehouse, I'll help you find him. See, I think the only reason you're even able to be here is simply because of what Rosenberg did. Rosenberg helped you be free, but this... Considering you seem to have killed yourself up here, this seems to be your personal dark room. Like wherever you die becomes your dark room where you're stuck and trapped. Larry, I don't know if this is a good idea. What if burning down the treehouse only makes things worse? Considering it seems like it's his dark room, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Trust me, it can't get any worse. I can't live like this anymore. Or, you know, not live. But whatever. I can't stay stuck in this place. You don't know what it's like. It's torture. I can feel it change me. Nothing else has worked to break the binding spell. What if you end up in the black room instead of being free? Your soul will be dissolved into the darkness. You don't know that for sure. And even so, the nothingness would be better than existing like this. Please, Ash, you have to help me. I mean, that's fair enough. Like, if sitting up here, I think even if there wasn't demonic forces trying to force their way into his being, I can guarantee you sitting up here for for an excruciatingly long period of time would probably work terrible ways, work some terrible things on your mind. And it's better for him if it's better for him to end up in the darkness rather than for him to end up turning into something else. If you do this, you have to promise you, you'll be okay. Promise me you won't fade away. I promise. Liar. Went back to the burnt tree every night for weeks. He's just gone. Kinda actually feel like I'm tearing up a little bit. There he was our first friend. I can't bring myself to go anymore. Another screw up in this long list of my failures. This morning I went over to Neil's place, but Hello Neil, you home? Please tell me you're not doing weird things I don't want to see. Kinky things I don't want to see. He's gone? He's completely gone. Legends of the Greys. The Grey family is a tribe of Native Americans, but there aren't many historical records of them. Even though there are there are relatives of the Greys living in Knockville today, their ancestry appears to be more legend than fact. It is said that their family was formed when a great owl swooped down from the night sky and made love to a man who was lost in the woods. Weeks later, a beautiful young woman burst out from inside of the man. A nearby pack of wolves came to eat the bits of flesh of the man. By eating this, by eating this flesh, the wolves became indebted to the young woman. Over time, the pack became human and together with the young woman formed the first members of the Grey Tribe. Descendants of the woman are said to have the ability to see the future. The origins, the origin story was likely fabricated and then evolved over time. However, there may be a grain of truth to the proclamation of psychic abilities. The slaughtering of children. Jesus, that's a jump. Um, August 16, 1984, 255 children and 32 adults were murdered across North America. 
However, surprisingly, it didn't make any many headlines. The story was covered here and there, but not in any major news outlets. It's now my understanding that the Colts had something to do with this and was likely the orchestrators of the whole thing. And true, that could mean their reach extends much further than we expected. Terrifying thought. Which means, is it really a good idea to blow up their temple? Backpack. Grab the C4 from Nail's bag, since we're supposed to go to the temple that night. Jesus fucking hell, you could blow up the entire neighborhood with that amount of shit. What the hell? Why? Why do you need so much? Oh, fuck. Um... I don't think it was a human that left that cage. Crap, this isn't good. That sounded like the front door. Yeah, it did. Um, do you see those? Hello? Hello? Neil? Letter. There was a note left on the table for me. Ash, they have Mabel and Neil. You need to move quickly. Wait, what? Ash, they have Mabel and Neil. Who? The temple is lightly guarded today. Sneak in the entrance I told you about before. Oh. Once you get into the main chamber, you have to act stealthily. There are four pillars with inserts that hold sacred jars. If you place explosives there, it's sure to bring the whole place down. Set them behind the jars and they'll be safe. It's forbidden to touch those jars. Be careful and good luck. I'm guessing that's your friend. On the back of the lair was a hand-drawn map with the location and jars. I didn't waste any time. I was getting to the temple right away. That's your... That's the cult friend. Okay. And from this point forward, I have no clue what's gonna happen. Because this is about as far as I got before I realized I was probably past the fourth episode. It doesn't help that. Oh shit, there's guards. There's actually guards. It doesn't help that, uh. Oh! Sure. It doesn't help that, um. This kind of, like, moving background sort of situation makes me feel ill. Do not enter. Why? Okay, let's just work our way around the outer edges. Oh, shit! Without the factory, we lose more members. Ever since the fire, his order has been increasingly erratic. Oh, how many senators... Interesting. So the factory. So it was prop. The factory had something to do with the Colts, and Rosenberg and the others probably burnt it down. Shh! Don't talk like that. Do you want to end up like the Packertons? Uh, wait, what? They had something to do with their death, didn't they? Everything will work out. Just have faith, sister. The de the decision will soon be upon us. Good for you. Okay, keep an eye out for them. There's another jar. There we go. I need to move in one. How am I supposed to do that with him there? I need to find a way into the inner east hallway that doesn't involve getting near him. Hello. Three. Okay, I'll remember that. Ooh. Sewer. So oh, that's a center chamber. Here's more jars. God fucking damn it, Ash. Are you Nathan? Are you sure your name's not Nathan Break? Damn it. Oops. Better move to the, from this spot quickly. Yeah, no shit. Moving, moving, moving. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 
Ooh. Sure. Damn it. Go. Oh, god damn it, Ash. So we just got that one? Oh my god, getting... I could pass through the center chamber. <sighs> Crap. No, I can't. This was guarded before. Oh, it still is. Where the hell did you go? Whatever. Could you do that little disappearing act again? But I've already placed this one. Wait till he goes. Can I go in? Too risky. Okay, no. So, the ones that the doors are against are the center chamber, so I have to be able to get to the other rooms somehow. Oh, I never went all that far here, did I? Yeah, because you disappear. That makes sense. Damn it, Ash! What the fuck? And now he's not gonna move. He very quickly changed the second I went past that window. I think I may be trapped. I think they know. This was blocked before. That was very much blocked before. It's all of them. Okay, what now? Leave? Research your Todd. Dungeon? Ash? Well, that answers the question. Neil, how you doing, bud? Neil, are you okay? I've had better days. How the heck did you get in? I'll tell you later. Right now we gotta get out of here. Out of- Get you out of there. What about Maple and Todd? Have you seen them? Maple is in the next cell over. Todd is here. I saw him when they dragged us here. That's not happening. They have Todd in a different room. I'm not sure where though. They knocked me out pretty hard. Ouch. Ash, I think something big is going down real soon. Something bad. Okay, did you see where they put the keys? I'll get them when we grab Maple. I'll get them, then we can grab Maple and Todd. One of the guards has the keys, but it's too dangerous. Even if you could so somehow get it, you and I aren't able to handle Maple and Todd. They're too far gone. We can't do it. Uh, we can do it. I know we can. I, I think it's time for Plan B. Neil, no. Save yourself, Ash. Someone has to live through this. Fair enough. Like, Maple... I'm not sure what the hell she did, but she did something to get out of that cage. I don't think she's human, and Todd is clearly pretty dangerous. I'm not leaving you guys down here. I can't lose any more friends. I don't think we have any other option. Uh, problem. You there. Shit. Crap. Wait. I know that voice. Who are you? Holy shit, Travis? Of course you're a piece of shit, cultist. You need to leave. If they catch you here, it won't end well. You're our friend on the inside? That makes some sense. You look horrible, dude. What happened to you? Don't act like you give a shit about me. Just get out of here. Come on, man. You can help us. Get, help us get Maple and Todd. Let's all get out of here together. Trust me when I say it's beyond impossible. I know there's some good in you, Travis. Sal saw it too. He stood up for you when no one else would. You know we did. Do this for him. Did we? Sal is dead. And you'll be too if you stay here any longer. Damn it, why won't you help us? I'm trying to. He's right, Ash. You should go. But... It's okay. I made my peace with it. I'll finally be with Todd again. I mean, assuming they do kill him. Travis pretty much had to drag me out of there. I didn't want to go, even though I knew they were right. 
And I know we plan to blow the temple up, even if we fail, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to press that button, knowing that our friends are down there. If you're out there, somewhere, please, Sal, I need your help. Please. You can't be gone. So you didn't do it. Whoa. Episode 5, Memories and Dreams. Took you long enough. What the hell? Sal? It's happening again. The flash is... What am I? You are unbound. You are broken. You must balance yourself. Find the chaos within. Don't let your nightmares infect your reality, Sal. Find your center. Don't listen to them, Sal. You must give in to your dreams. Give in to the chaos. To reach your full potential. It's too dangerous. He's not ready. Follow your heart, child. No, listen to your mind. Who are you? We are everything and nothing. Where am I? You are everywhere and nowhere. About expected. You two are real goddamn helpful, you know that? Are you God? Have I been here before? You have always been here. Oh, the other one didn't want to pipe up? Ugh, never mind. I'll figure it out. Oh, we walk so slowly. Where the hell are we? A house in the void. If we keep walking. Nothing. So just a house in the void. The fuck does that mean? I think we're gonna try and center ourselves. Damning ourselves to the void isn't a good idea. Okay, this isn't much better. What the hell? Stairs. The white room. Jesus. The dawn of mankind has triumphed over the oldest conflicts. They are something from nothing. You must not allow them to be extinguished. What does that mean? Whoa, hi. Uh, hello? I'm glad you remember where I was. Do I know you? We have spoken many times, so. Alright. Are you gonna be as cryptic as the voices? Oh, hold on. Jim? Is it? Oh. I was once, well, part of me was. I made many sacrifices to get here, and I've lost so much along the way. I guess that's a yes on the cryptic thing, then. I'm sorry about your family, Evelyn, Larry, Lisa. Yes, I used to be as well. There was a time when I thought I could save them by changing the future. It was all I wanted. Lisa and Larry were the light of my life. I had never known such a deep love. I do not hold you responsible for their deaths. I understand what had to be done. You lost a lot that day, too. But it is the nature of life. All things must come to an end. I remember what it was like to live, to feel. You do not miss the constant cloud of emotions. It was all for nothing, though. The chows still live, and the devourers are going to call forth the plague. Their reach has grown too far. I've stopped nothing. I died for nothing. I killed for nothing. You can still stop them if you wish to. In fact, you are the key to their destruction. If that means anything to you now. Is that... Is that the prophecy nonsense again? I don't think I'm much of a chosen hero. I couldn't save anyone. 
There are no chosen heroes, only those who choose to do heroic acts. Win or lose, light or dark, good or evil. These things don't hold much significance to me anymore, but I would still like to help you, if you so choose. How can I do anything like this? Upon dying, your soul was shattered. This occurrence has awakened a unique ability within you. You will be able to drift into parallel worlds, though it will take some practice. How do I get back to my world? It will be difficult, but I have prepared for your arrival. I have built a device that will help you. Your friend Ashley has gathered the device above your grave. In your world, this is good. Oh, that's what they are. However, there are more components that must be lined across three realities that they have been hidden in. The three pyramids of Aspen and each sealed within the three puzzles. Are each sealed within three puzzles. You must gather them all. If you hid these pyramids of Ashenma, or whatever, can't you just grab them for me? That is not possible. I can no longer intervene in such matters. I've also erased the solutions from my memory in case anyone tried to steal them. However, I can guide you to their locations. Okay, well, the well that will save some time at least. Where do I start? There used to be a door here. Just a second. Um, there it is. Thanks. You'll find your way through that door. Keep your wits about you. Fun. Godlike beings in cosmic worlds. Lovely. Where to start? Let's not walk into the void. Door two? Whoa. Okay, here we go. Interesting. I'm afraid moving still isn't an option for us. The house has been on the market since mm, years now. It's an important step that I hope you will be able to take soon. In the meantime, I believe that the cat will be of great comfort to sell. He's shown a lot of improvement over the past months after he was assist after he assisted the kitten. Are you sure he's ready to come home? He's in he is more than ready, Henry. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, it will be good to have my son back. Interesting. What the fuck? Okay, so we're Looney Tunes, that's a new one. Well, this isn't what I was expecting. You have awakened a new soul connection. You may find it a bit strange at first. Actually, it feels pretty natural, like I've been, like I've been here the whole time, like waking from a dream. In the beginning, I found the odd sense of familiarity to be unsettling, but I am not like you. You'll find the first pyramid somewhere in the house. On it. Well, at least I don't have to search the entire damn wall. 145, letter. Took a letter from Ashley. Sal, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before. I really wanted to. I tried so hard to be there for everyone, and now it's all falling apart. If it's not too late to fix things, I hope that I can somehow make up my mistakes. I need you to know that I... Just ends there. So I must have interrupted her. Yeah, that's concerning, considering the whole blow up the temple thing. Didn't quite go so well. Todd's room. Sealed shut. That's one way to put it. It's a plant. This is so freaking weird. Ah, you. Never mind. I've gotten scarily good at puzzles. So I'm guessing that's opened up his thing. Ah, we need a code. I bet you it's whatever the previous code was. Or the code Ashley put in was. Our room. Hey, Larry's still alive? This is so freaking weird. Hey, two. 
Three, two. So there's gonna be one of those pyramids in every world. Three, two. Aww. Wait for a shadow demon to pop out and rip my soul from me. 5023. Well, there's the code. What happened to the basement? Oh, do I even want to know? It's jammed shut. Good. 5023. Why is there codes hidden in the static on the TV? What do you mean? Five, oh, two. Oh, seven, eight, four, two. What? Why is there so many codes? That's not it either. The only other room we can get into is Sal's room, so there has to be something in here. Okay, yes, I did look this up, but this was kind of obscure. You could have done a little bit more to make this clear. You gotta add up the different values. So what were the codes? 5023, right? And 7842? You could have made that a bit clearer, devs. You may put a little math ma math man a math equation. Though it's Todd, so maybe it should have been clear. Well, oh, there's one. So, possibly. Mm. Oh, Sal. You good, bud? Sal, is that you? It's me. You sound faint. Why is your ghost like this? How is this possible? There are so many things I want to tell you. The pyramids. Oh, one of them is glowing now. This is closer to what Todd had, it, had in his notes. Let me take a look. Oh, shit. Um, this would be north, right? Yeah, he has his head. To be placed around a corpse? There we go. Well, that's not at all horrific or traumatizing. You did it, Ash. Oh, back here again. Well, on to the next one. Oh, honey. Oh, there's two doors. I didn't even notice. Technology is a creation of humankind. Humankind is a creation of nature. Thus, technology is the evolution of nature. Technically, yes. I guess technology is kind of made from nature because technology is just a combination of the right chemicals to create the right substances that can transfer electricity and stuff of that sort. Technology is the perversion of nature, the folly of humankind. Their lust for betterment will be their undoing. So, two opposite sides of one thought. Interesting. I'm guessing it's safe to just enter the rooms after each time. How you doing? So, what happened to you? As you know, I was once human. After accidentally discovering a new world, I also discovered love. I died trying to protect that love. My human form was fortified forfeits and my soul wandered the void for eons in the endless black i strived to return home when i realized it was impossible for me i found a way to reach into other worlds a bridge in order to use such technologies my soul needed to change and and as i continued to use the bridge my soul continued to change and evolve now i am far from human what is all this junk they are my mi these are many of the inventions I have tinkered with. As an engineer in a past life, it seems as the desire to create is still within me. I a lingering remnant to my lost humanity. Huh. 
Did you help taught it all with this whole thing? Door two, door three, door four. Here we go. What's our new hellscape gonna look like? Jetsy. Dad, when will mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she'll recognize me with my new face? God damn it, Sal, we can't do this today. I just miss her. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mom isn't coming home. Whoa, Henry. Okay, this is a side to you that we didn't know about. What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. Interesting. That's enough, Sal. Could Sal peer Oh, that's creepy. Could Sal peer in I chose the pink one because that's mom's hair color. Hope she will recognize me with it on. Maybe Sal's abilities had already begun to shine through in some way. Whoa, okay. I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out in these woods searching for some evidence that this was real. I that, and I wasn't losing my mind. Council went to get eight links to cover it up. They they had hidden with a concealing spell, as they called it. Of course, that was what they consider magic is merely science that they don't understand. That makes sense. No, to be honest, it's pretty dreamy. It's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyways, I'm guessing you hidden things of your own around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. I didn't realize that's what I was talking to. I was kind of thrown off by... Well, this. Okay, so I am limited. God, we have depth we never had. Oh. Okay... Walking face first into a tree and into an invisible wall. Oh, there's no one right here. Oh, uh. What was that first one? Hold on. God. This is so confusing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to 2D game turning 3D. So it's those three parts that matter? That's what I'm getting, so moon, sun, moon? No, yeah, I have it correct. So that means I have it incorrect. Hmm. Die, ah, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm misinterpreting it, aren't I? Lights, dark, dark. I was associating the wrong puzzle with the wrong piece. That makes sense. Okay. Clever. I like that. That's a good way to trick someone into thinking in the wrong direction. Oh, oh. For, mm, actually, no. I remember part of it. Sun, moon, moon. Sun, sun. Something, something. Sun moon. There we go. And now we got another one of these puzzles. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is fun. I haven't been chased down by a demon yet. Hey, there we go. The second one. Another one lit up. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting stronger. You don't look great, Sal. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Can you ever be normal after whatever the hell's occurred to him? Okay, so this should be easy enough. Dun, dun. Should be easy enough, he says. Dun. Dun, dun. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. 
There we go. Oh. Are we bringing back to life? What do you have to say? We are shadows of a sleepless dream. That's it? You can be a little more interesting than that. What about you? We are the dreamers of all that is. You two and your simplifications. Come on, give me some cryptic godlike message. <laughs> Something that really make my brain think or make my brain melt, whichever you want it to be. Anything new with you? Will I be broken forever? Your soul may be forever fragmented. It is a rare occurrence, but not unheard of and not unexpected, given the circumstances. I can't say I was expecting this. It is the reason you are able to drift between worlds. It is the only way you will be able to effect change and bring an end to the devourers of God. Why me, though? So, technically, the devourers of God brought about their own fail their own destruction by getting working together to get Sal killed because by getting Sal killed that allowed him to fragment and allows him to do what he couldn't before why me though because it is what you have chosen fair enough what are, th what are these pyramids doing exactly when your sh soul was shattered so was your ability to remain in your home world the pyramids will merge together those pieces of your soul so that part of your being may once again exist. Man, death is more complicated than I imagined it would be. I'm kidding. Is this place a dream? It feels different from reality, hazy and uncertain, like a dream. I know I've been here before, somehow. There are no easy answers to this question because there are no words to describe it that you can understand. It is both an eternal dream and a physical place. It is solely your mind, and yet it is all minds. It is infinite and finite. It is dark and light. It is... Okay, thanks, I get the idea. <laughs> yeah, if he kept going, our minds may have broke. I am concerned about the fact that I can walk into the void, though I'm gonna avoid that. <laughs> avoid that. What's next? Are you ready for your first day of school, Sally? I don't know. It'll be fun. You'll get to meet a bunch of kids your age and make lots of new friends. But if they don't like me, that's impossible. You're the coolest guy I ever met. Me? Of course. I don't want to leave you, Mommy. You don't have to. You don't have anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take good care of you, and I'll be right here when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't forget it. Damn. We still haven't learned much about what occurred to his mother. But it's clear... Oh, um... Yeah. Um, Sal? This is a new one. It's kind of like, um... Don't starve combined with a nightmare before Christmas? Jesus. I like it. Also, a little bit of, um, Frambo, I think. Maybe it's more Frambo than anything else. But so weird. Um, yeah, we haven't learned much about it, but based off what her father said in one of the memories, it seems like Sal was somehow involved. Or maybe wasn't, but they think he is because, you know, ghosts. Kind of hard to believe that. Is this the cave by Wendigo Lake? I don't remember it being so big. Another illustration created by your favorite cult, Illusion. Whoa, was that a joke from Mr. Sirius? No, it is me, Jim Johnson. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go find the last pyramid. Godspeed, if only. As Rosenberg would have said, God ain't here to help us. Hello? You're moving on your own. Who the hell are you? 
This is the first time we met any other people in these worlds. Whoa, back off, dude. I'm tougher than I look. I'm not afraid to put you down. Hey, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something I lost. Aren't we all? Well, you better not try anything. I'm watching you. I promise I won't. My name is Sal Fisher. Tell Gray. So, what are you doing in these caves, Sal? Besides sneaking up on people. I was just about to ask you the same question. I don't think I've ever seen you around Knockfell before. Your relatives are from here. I don't visit too often, but my grandfather has recently gone missing. Sal, is it a good idea to be speaking with people of other worlds when you're from a different world yourself, or at least the conscious one in control is? That feels like a bad idea. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. Hope you find him. Thanks, my grandfather was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me that our ancestors made all these paintings. He said they depicted a warning of a hungry beast that hunts in this land. Have you seen a small metal pyramid around? Small metal pyramid? Huh? I'm guessing that's the thing you lost? Yeah. I haven't seen anything like that around here. Sorry. What about some turny hexagons? You're just out here with a mask on, looking for a bunch of shapes, huh? Uh-huh. It's a prosthetic. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be more of help f with your geometry. <laughs> oh, bloody prick. Whatever. Oh, deeper into the cave we go. How could this possibly end other than bad? I'm trying to decipher these drawings a bit, but I really can't. Uh, have you found this before? The fuck? Something, but it's inactive. This seems like a bad idea. And again, with the freaking axe guns, why do we keep ending up on this? That was honestly actually kind of planned. There we go. Final one. Whatever the hell that means. I don't understand what's happening, but these weird... The third one activated. Will this bring you back? I think... My ghost will be able to interact, but my body cannot be revived. You sure the process the prophecies are vague, but they suggest that you will take a physical form. I'm not sure of anything. All right, let me take care of the last pyramid. Okay, final one. Oh, I'm lost. Uh, done. 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 There we go. Sal. Damn it, this was supposed to resurrect you. Are you okay? I. It hurts. Yeah, did you think combining your shattered soul that's spread across several different dimensions was gonna be a painless process? There's another part to Todd's no, but I haven't been able to make much sense of them. I'm so sorry, Sal. If I. I failed you again. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than me. Wait, I think I know what it means. I know what I have to do. Human blood? Don't... I would... Um, no, it probably just means a little blood. Like, just cut the palm of your hand. I would gladly die if it means that you will live. This is how I can make every up everything for you. Oh, God, don't... Don't! No, that's not what it means! It just requires a little human blood. Something from the world you want to bind him to. Not... Your life. No, go save them, sorry face. Hope we meet again. God, don't make me walk. Oh, that's not what it means, Ash. No. He wanted human blood, not human life. Oh. This Happen. Maybe I was wrong.
And we're back here. How many loved ones will you kill to save the world? What will be left worth saving? That all you got? Chastising me for doing what I was told to do? Are you okay, Larry? Yeah, dude, I just, uh, got something in my eye. I told you this movie is emotional. It's just so beautiful. I hope they end up together in the end. They deserve happiness after all the shit they've been through. Yeah. Hey, Larry. What's up? Do you... Do you think that anyone could ever love me like they love each other? Who wouldn't love you? Don't be stupid. You're Sally Face. You're perfect, dude. Damn. Uh... Ooh. Of course Neil can move in. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask, honestly. His current lease is nearly in by it's nearing its end now, which is why I waited. I'd be happy to have him at our place. I'm sure Larry will too, though Larry probably won't move in until next year. Right, well, thank you. Neil will be expecting to hear the side to hear the news, and I will be very glad to have him close by again. Oh, they're all significations of each of the people in our lives. People who have died. Ugh. What's wrong, Sal? I'm just no good at this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. I've got no you've got nothing to apologize for. I've been having a great time painting with you. You're you're an amazing artist, Ash. A wonderful teacher. I'll never be as good as you, though. I'm sure you can. All it takes is practice and determination. But only if you want it, you know? You don't need to be good at everything you do. Some things we do just because they're fun and we like to do them, or even just to spend time with people we like. I guess you're right. I have been enjoying this time together. Very much so. I'm glad to hear that. Anything you want to paint or even just hang out, let me know. Oh, Christ. Ashley. Damn. Damn, so many people. Considering what we may have to do, us being the only one that can possibly stop the devourers of God, it's the only way. I wish you would have seen yourself the way I did. You weren't a failure in my eyes, you were always there for me. You gave me hope when I needed it most, even when you saw the horrible things I had done. Even when you couldn't believe the reasons I had to do these those things, you stood by me. That means everything. Ritual requires one final step. Seize the power of the blade of Orice. Here we go. Time to put an end. Um. What's happening to me? Ash? Ash, can you hear me? Sal? Where are you? Um... I don't want to say it because of how dirty it sounds and considering how serious the situation is, but I'm pretty sure he's inside you. The ritual has awakened a power within my being, but I cannot return to your world. You must be my sword in the darkness. This power I feel, this is you? Yes. Holy shit, Sal. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh... Huh! That's a new one! Whoa! Thank you for trusting me with this. I couldn't have attained this power on my own, Ash. It's all thanks to you. Let's go kick some Colt's ass. That's the plan. I wonder if... If we can imbue her with the power, she can probably live past this point. Here we come, motherfuckers. You ready? Knock, knock. Anyone home? Where is everyone? I don't know. The explosives are still in place. You still got that detonator? Locked. Um. 
center chamber? That's a problem. The center chamber should shut. Shut. How are we gonna get in there? I think I can get us in. Hey. That is a problem. So we're an amalgamation of our three different selves. The... I think the, te the teen version of ourselves, the version right after the accident, and then... Oh no, a dark version of ourselves that's now trapped in the void? We can go through the doors that were closed. What the hell? Sal, you feeling okay? 1663 to 1681 ist. The first prophecy uh, brings a small group of natives together, a fraction of the great tribe. Colonists arrive in Knockfell, a marriage between Count uh, Citadel Grey and West Rosenberg unites the two groups. Original temple is built. Oh my god, Rosenberg was more deeply connected than we thought. 1703. Phil's misery is constructed to hide the temple. Uh, used to in indoctrinate followers and gain members. Another ceremonial marriage between the Grey and the Phil's family. Specific, specific details unclear. In 1700s, the prophecy about the child of the abomination is spoken and becomes part of their doctrine. Preparations for his execution begin. 1887, Anderson Apartments are built, temple expanded, cult growing in numbers. 1905, Terrace Anderson is born. His parents made a deal with the council, so the boy will be blessed from birth to be the entry point of the Endless One. The council's eagerly fed him human flesh. This information is withheld from gem general members. 1906, a, a new prophecy says that killing the child of the abomination will bring a man from the sky they believe it's me, who will greatly help the Devourer's efforts. Huh? 1917 to 1932, Terrence's soul is destroyed by the Endless One and his parents are murdered. The boy's appearance starts, begins to change, so the council lock him in his room and keep their secret. They are able to draw power from the beast. 1938, the first shadow of a successful summon, the cosmic predators are relentless. My studies show that they can be contained and even destroyed by strong enough sources of ultraviolet light, but only when not possessed, possessing a host. 1983, in intention. Interesting, so vi ultraviolet light may be somewhere along the lines of what we need. Let me save code. This is so freaking weird! What the hell is this thing? I don't know. What is any of this? Hey! I guess it worked? Oh, we're back here. Oh. Only found three of them so far. Huh. Oh, it seems like a bad idea. Oh! What about... Oh, door one's gone. Okay. Hmm. I should note, I also realized I didn't get all the tapes either. And the door's gone, so I guess we had one chance and one chance only. There we go. The hell did that do? Oh, we still don't have the safe combination. So, four number combination. With what, nine numbers? That can take a while. 1983. Initiation. Of course. Lisa, I know that you and Larry must hate me for leaving. It was the hardest thing I had, I've ever had to do. Shattered my heart, maybe it doesn't mean much now, but I need you to know that I left to protect you both. I thought I could keep you safe by keeping it all a secret, 
I've got it mixed up with dangerous people. They were threatening to hurt you if I didn't join them. I believe they're also responsible for a stillborn born daughter, though. I haven't found hard proof of that. Uh, now that you're pl they're planning a mass murder of children across the globe, they think these kids are a threat to them. I have to stop this from happening. This damn cult is dealing with powerful forces they don't understand, and I've been secretly sabotaging their efforts where I can, but I'm gonna need to take greater action to stop the killings. It's likely I won't survive this. Hope that you and Larry can forgive me. Above anything, I hope that you will both live long and fulfilling lives that you find happiness. Love you with all my broken heart, Jim. Oh, that's actually extremely sad. Letter. Secret, secret of knowledge. Read all notes in episode 5. Damn. So I guess we're jumping across different portions of reality to make progress. Oh shit, Todd. Um, I think that's Todd. We've been expecting you. What have you done? The final dis uh, decision is upon us. On this night, mankind will triumph over God. You killed them. And many others, and you're destined to be so much more than- Shut the hell up, you psycho, I'm gonna end you! I thought you might feel that way at first. Now what does that mean? Oh, really? Really, guys? This- this what you got? You can try a bit harder than that. Mushy into piles of- mush. I the fuck just happened to him? Um, Todd? Sal? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of this. Sal? Is that you? I think. Who are you? Larry? So he was freed. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. What happened? When the treehouse burnt, I was lost in the void. I spent so long there, dude. Like, really long. I can tell. I like the beard, though. <laughs> but, yeah, there was this weird tree. The roots were, like, were all cosmic-y and stuff. Creatures gathered around and worshipped it. They called it the Mother Tree. I'm still not really sure how, but it helped me find my way back. I think I'd seen that or felt it before. You're connected to it. We all are. Larry, about Lisa, I... Dude, you don't need to say anything. I know. But I... It's okay, seriously. All their souls would have been destroyed. I'm glad your soul didn't get dissolved in the void. Not yet, at least. Though, Todd was right about the whole second death thing. Souls fade into the void and become nothing. Interesting. And also, curious, that means the whole Anderson Apartments event... That's why Larry had to off himself, otherwise he would have become corrupted and would have been a no help to us. It sounds brut brutally final, but I didn't learn much beyond that. Do you know how we can save Todd? I think I can get him out. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. He always has strong will. Oh, I have something for you. I found it in the void. Hell yes. Leave Todd to me. You need to hold back the shadows that are starting to seep in. Okay, be careful. You too. Where did we go? Oh. They're here. Oh. Oi! Eat my ass, you red-eyed bitch. <laughs> I love that. I love Larry. Hell is that thing? I... Travis? I won't let you do this. Your betrayal is not surprising. You always were a disappointment. The feeling is mutual, you fucking prick. You know you can't stop this, son. Oh! Well, that's one hell of a childhood. 
Wait, have we seen you before? Bye. Travis. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Oh shit. Ashley, get out of here now. I can't end like this. We have to, I have to. Oh shit, why are you giving me the choice? Fuck. It's not working. What? Shit. Oh crap. Larry? Hi! They're getting close. Larry? Oh. I got you, Todd. Hold on, buddy. We are working this across several different dimensions. What the hell is going on? Sally's having the most interesting of times. The most interesting of times. There we go. Sally's just having one hell of a time here, isn't she? He. Oh, come on! They're here now! Nope, we're dead? Uh, they're not trying to kill me? Never mind. Okay. We are everlasting. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, what? Um, so? The creator of all things decays in our bowels. It is power. His power is surging through our veins. I don't believe you. The broken soul resisting what is inevitable. Yet we are eternal and have surpassed God itself. You will soon become one with the endless. We are the final stage of all humanity. I will never join you. Ooh. I think you may not get a choice. What the hell is this? Oh, I see. Is that meatballs? Got one. Come on. Got two. Got three. We're fighting this damn thing across the dimensions! Got it. What's next? Oh, come on. We're fighting this damn thing across all dimensions. This is amazing and yet horrifically dangerous. We are probably ripping the fabric of reality apart. Something? Ah, there you are. Anything? I think it broke. Oh, okay. You just had to wait a really long time. Uh, we're back to our reality. Damn it. Oh, there we go, finally. It was super finicky. Hacking it across three dimensions. Hey. Todd? Hey, are you okay? Larry. Larry? It's good to see you, Ash. I, uh, like the new look. Uh... When did you get so old? 
It's a long story. When did you get it all glowy? Long story. It's over. We did it. Why does it feel so bad? Are you sure it's over? Seems like it, but I just... Todd, you're alive! What... what happened? I think we stopped them. I'm glad you're okay, dude. Good to have you back, Todd. We are... We'll fill you in on all the details later after we get you patched up. There's a lot to talk about. I just want y'all to know how much you mean to me. I love you guys so much. I was lucky to know you. I'm glad I got to see all of you again. We love you too, Larry. Are you alright? I'm sorry, I didn't have much time left. Larry? I didn't think I'd be afraid when... I just wish I had more time. Huh. What? No, where did he... He can't leave again, we just got him back! Was that Larry? Yeah. Maybe we'll see him again someday, on the other side of oblivion. I guess his spirit had a limited amount of time, and he was just so close he had to do something. And there is such a place. What about the ambulance? That was from the ghost realm. Achievements. The end? Finish up a fight. To be continued? Wait, what? I thought this was the end. I completely forgot about that. So is there gonna be a Sally face too? I'm not sure, huh? Wow. Well, either way, that was Sally face. That was a lot of fun. The one thing I will say, I completely regret playing. Pray, Sally Face, and Dishonored in the same kind of weeks, in the same set of time slots, at the same time, because fuck, these, all of these games always take so much time to do, and, oh god, can drain ya, that was a lot of fun, that was really, really fun, I have no clue what that ending is supposed to mean. Suggesting that there may be more to this than we expected. There was the amulet left behind. She now has that power that can heal people. And I guess, yeah, even if you stop them, there's still a bunch of corrupted people. And clearly, the cult has a much greater reach than just Knockfell. So, you may have stopped them from now, but they're still around. There's still a problem. Interesting. Either way, I'm gonna end this series on Sally Face Off here. I love this game. If a second one comes out, I'll play it. If there's already a second one, I'll play it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember anything about a second game. But either way, this has been a lot of fun. Hope you all enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed. It was fun. It was different. Uh, Bioshock may take Wednesday's place, but now it's a prey ending this week as well. Fuck. Two series ending at the same time. I never like doing that. Either way. For now, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, may click the playlist at the end to rewatch some of the series or watch some of the series that you may not have watched before, whatever. Um, and that's a good one. Let's go with you in the next one. Goodbye.